Hello, this is Mr. Buffington. Welcome to a quick tutorial and playthrough of this amazing card game. Let's check it out. As many of you know, my favorite card game website is cardgames.io. I really enjoy this, this game and I've known it as something different. I can't remember what I called it. I'll have to put it in the comments or something or name the title of it. Um, but the basic deal for this is that you, you deal out the cards and you begin with a certain number of cards dealt to all the players. In this case, we start with 10. Again, there's been variations that I've seen. What you do is you are told what the trump will be, and then you bid on how many tricks you think you're going to take out of the 10. So in this case, I have the ace of trump, so I'm definitely taking one. I think that king's probably another, the nine might be another, and the king might be another. I might take four out of the 10, Let's just say four. So you pick what you think you're going to make and it goes around. The dealer cannot make the total equal to the total number of tricks. So at least one person is going to be disappointed each round. All right. The person on the left of the dealer starts. That's Bill, my personal least favorite person in the world. I like to slap Bill. But anyway, that's for another time. So Bill led heart. So I have to follow hearts if I have them. And I do. Um... Let's get rid of the six of hearts. Lisa won. Oh dear. Lisa's pulling my king out. Well, that's not awesome. All right. Now here is where I can probably surprise Lisa a little bit by trumping her um, king with my ace. <laughs> Lisa, take that. And she's like, oh no. Um, anyway, now it's my turn to lead. And I want to hopefully take this. Yeah. And now I have to get two more out of all of these. Um, it's quite a bit of Trump, really. So I'm going to get rid of the nine just to avoid myself in that suit. And then hopefully I'll be able to... Oh, wow. Bill. So Bill has a queen. I'm definitely going to try and take that away from Bill. Mainly because I don't like Bill. Yeah, sorry, Bill. Ha <laughs> ha. See if someone else can please win this. Oh dear. Okay. Now I win this one and please lose. Whoops. Oh, rats. So I got five tricks instead of four. So here's how the, the scoring goes. At the end of the round, if you get the number that you bid, like Mike did over here, he, he bid two and got two, then he gets those two points plus 10 added onto it. I got five tricks, so I got five points. Bill got one. Haha, <laughs> Bill. He only got one point. Lisa got two tricks, and so she gets two points. The real way that you make a whole ton of points here is by bidding and getting what you bid. In some variations of this game, you get zero if you go over, or anyway, there's different versions of it. This one here is fun, where you get one point for every trick, and then 10 points if you get exactly what you bid. I keep pressing the wrong button. And that's how it goes. So you start out with dealing out 10 cards each, and then you deal out 9, and then 8, and then 7, and you have that many rounds all the way down to, um, I think it's down to 1, or down to 2, and then back from there up to 10 again. So there's several different rounds in, in this, and it's really fun. All right, so uh, spades are trump. I don't have any spades. I could probably throw off most of these and get actually 0. I'm going to try that just because... Why not? Um, and with Lisa bidding six, I, I think I'm going to have enough chances here to lose. So I want to throw off the biggest possible thing that I can. Um, this is one way to play where you just, you know, basically try to actively lose as much as possible. Try and throw off the largest number that you can. Like there, I'm going to get rid of an ace. <laughs> um, and, and by doing this, uh, I'll get rid of that one. It makes it so that I'm more likely to lose. So even though I had a hand that was pretty decent, I'm going to go for those extra 10 points of gaining the loss or gaining zero exactly what I bid. Come on, Bill, win this one. Yeah, Bill. All right, so you notice I got 10 points by not getting a single trick. And there's a way to, to play that. I probably could have bid one or two and, and gotten one or two maybe stop Lisa from getting her six. But anyway, that's what's exciting about this game. The game is based on making bids and then playing differently to try and get that bid that you get. 
and then throughout the game you'll keep going until the end. That's basically it. That's five minutes, so I'm going to shut off the tutorial for this and just leave you with that. I think this is a really fun game you should definitely check out if you're into card games, especially round card games that have a trump. This one you'll pick up really easily, and it's a fun one to play when you've got your family around. I hope that video was fun for you. Have a wonderful day.